I'm very proud to be sitting up here with them. Very, very grateful that they've made the commitment to be here. I know that the cycling fans in Australia and, and everyone that's here is going to really uh, enjoy the show. It's not Sydney anymore. I'll tell you more at the right progressives because I've just rolled away, but I'm in Adelaide, tour down under time, and I'm pretty bloody happy. It's the Friday before racing begins, and this is pretty much the farewell week for the LaPierre Zelius SL review. We start with the basics. Came to Glenelg, out of habit, and also because I want someone to eat. So, you know the drill. To the beachfront, Rob. And the predictable pier. It seems that everywhere I go, there's a Ferris wheel. Uh, I'm not alone in deciding to do this on a Friday morning, and it's bloody beautiful. That's it, that's my turnaround point number one. And uh, yeah, it's quite pretty. I've been here before, I knew what to expect. There we go. Apparently, uh, Phil Diggett's back. I haven't seen him yet, but he, he texted me the other day to say he's coming back. Look forward to catch up. Then apparently he went out on Jerry Ryan's boat the other day, and then apparently he broke four ribs. So, we're the broken rib boys. <laughs> fractured. Fractured. Uh, I've got three fractured ribs. I'm going to reference it probably forever more because it's on my mind. Um, so, it's going to be a tranquil old uh, settling in period. But, um, yeah, tour down under, 2023. Take more as it progresses. And so that's 15 kilometres. Two metres of climbing. I think that's hysterical. down at Seppermore and I've done 30 kilometres and not quite hit 10 metres of climbing. <laughs> uh, so that's a boring joke but it's been told and I'll move on. Anyway, flat little heart starter but without really starting the heart because I've been tranquil. Largs Pier if I read correctly. There's jetties, jetties everywhere. And I've only been out on that one at Glenelg, but I'm tempted to do the others just to see if there's dolphins because I am a tourist in another town. I do like high tides and dolphins. It's a high tide and I've seen dolphins there before. I think I just rode about 25 kilometers without stopping at a traffic light. Mm. Right. I've seen a lot of attractive settings and I've stopped at one that's not dreadfully attractive. But uh, neither here nor there. I'll turn around so you can at least see the ocean. Or the bay. Port. I don't know. There's my beautiful bike. Talked about it before. I'll talk about it again, but not right now. Uh, so, thoughts? I have... I, I've just been... I'm just unaccustomed to riding without traffic lights, so that's a win for me. Uh, not a not a skerrick of climbing. Like, I've literally done 12 metres of climbing in about 35 kilometres. So that's pretty funny. It said dolphin sanctuary, dolphin sanctuary out here. 
but I see none. I see some flies. I hear some flies. I'm bugged by some flies. Um, right. So, continuing. I'd tell you my plan, but it's all a bit different. So I came in on um, Thursday before the tour down under, as I have done often before. And the aim was to go and talk to some mechanics and get the lay of the land and maybe see some new bikes. And um, there are some new bikes because there were a couple of teams that I said, can I photograph your bike? And they said, no. And I thought, that's weird. They're going to race them in a minute. Well, in a day or two. So it's not going to be secret for much longer. But um, anyway, all will be revealed in the next little while. And the intention that I have for the first few days of the tour down under is to try and film uh, some bikes and do the story of my bike with a pro bike rider from various teams. Yesterday, I had a quick, 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 quick catch up with Jay Vine, and I said, hey, later, can I talk to you about your bike? And he said, yes. And so I filmed it. And um, that's his new Colnago with UAE Team Emirates. So I think given that I don't really know where I am, um, I'm gonna just turn around. So yeah, you just saw my turnaround. That was my turnaround. Now I'm in the shade and I'll put the camera away. Again, I saw a sign for Dolphin Sanctuary, so I thought I'd follow my nose and the sign. Didn't work out. But I just saw one and all drive, and it's not interesting at all, except the name. I thought that was quite interesting, so I filmed it. I was up there, and I saw this, and I saw some other bike riders, and I went, and they said, no idea, and I said, may as well try it, and that's what I'm doing. better than having traffic next to me. It's actually very pleasant. The question is how long can I be bothered? Oh, I think quite a long time actually, because it's really quite nice. Yeah, it just keeps going, so ripper, good for me, eh? And I just checked, there is a, a picture of a bike lane, or a picture of a bike, next to a picture of someone walking. So I'm allowed to be here. And another jetty. Will I? Maybe. Could do. This is really nice actually, but there are signs saying slow. I'll film one for you, if I see another one. But the idea is don't come down here and train like a goose. Like, you know, it's, it's not a Strava section. It's just a, like, meandering tourism section. Complete with puddles. Don't know how, because it hasn't rained. Uh, but anyway. Went down one of those paths once with no shoes in the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah, you could smell my feet burning. Just there, there's a path, and the sign said, yours, ours, everyone's. Which is to say, the beach, it's there to share. What? Bubbler. Gonna fill up my drink bottle. Okay. Back to the road, back to the hotel, into a different kit, grab a different camera, get to work. This is funny. I was just going to keep going, but I've just seen my, my namesake, my namesake train stop. Hey, it's like happy days. Google it, kids. Google it. 